After spending a week in Billings, Montana, we were finally back on the road for the next leg of our journey. Our next destination, Waterton Lakes National Park, located 434 miles from Billings, Montana. Waterton Lakes National Park is situated on the Canadian Rockies in Alberta, Canada, north of Glacier National Park in the U.S. A colleague recommended that we check it out. After doing a quick Google search, we were sold, and we couldn't wait to see it in person. So we wall docked last night in Great Falls, Montana. Then we pumped our gas, got some LP, filled up our DEF, some diesel engine, so it needs DEF every several thousand miles or a couple, 1,000 miles. Um, and now we're heading to Waterton in Canada, so we're going to be crossing the border today. We got a bunch of produce. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. But um, and then we're going to be spending a couple days in Glacier National Park. Um, and that's it. Check you guys out later. So this is the uh, the drive that. We have, we have 199 miles to Waterton from Great Falls, so this, I think that's pretty much what we're going to see on this drive. Beautiful landscapes. We're at a border crossing uh, from Montana to Alberta, Alberta in Canada. It's, uh, it's called Del Bonita. This one snuck up on me. It didn't have any signs or anything. Alright, gotta go. Just crossed the uh, Canadian border from Montana. That one snuck up on us. There were no signs whatsoever. All of a sudden, we see a uh, chain link fence and uh, some really restricted areas. And, but the good thing is that it was the fastest border crossing ever. Uh, it took all of what, two, three minutes? Got the border crossing um, agent. Uh, asked us several questions and that was it. We were on our way. We had to turn off our engine and answer his questions. Any firearms, uh, tobacco, CBD, uh, what's the other alcohol and all that stuff. And so uh, we just answered and that was it. So we're on our way to Waterton now. Uh, we're staying at a campground there. And that's all to report right now. This is Canada. It looks so different. covers an area of 505 square kilometers or 195 square miles. Waterton was Canada's fourth national park and is the smallest in the Canadian Rockies. This is the view outside of our camper. We just got to Waterton National Park and our campground. Our campsite is site D4. It's primitive, but it's going to be nice and quiet, we hope. Right, Carolyn? And we've got a nice view. We do, and we just saw magpie and come I and greet us. And I just spilled lemonade on myself. <laughs> With its outstanding scenery, sunny weather, easygoing wildlife, and picturesque tree-lined coast, Waterton is a photographer's paradise. And as a photographer, I was like a kid in a candy store. Everywhere I turned was a picture begging to be taken. After setting up camp, we decided to take a stroll around the park and the town of Waterton.
We were blessed with a gorgeous sunset in a perfect setting where the lakes meet the towering mountains. We were surrounded by such beauty. This place is just truly special. Waterton uh, campground here in uh, the Waterton uh, National Park. So we have the, uh, the mountains behind us, all around us actually, 360, uh, except for that one area over there. It's been a great site. Uh, we saw the uh, Milky Way, and uh, although there are some uh, some of these uh, street lights nearby, once you get out to the beach over there. Um, it gets pretty dark and, and so uh, it's a great shooting uh, experience over there and perfect shooting conditions and got a couple shots of the Milky Way which we'll be posting on Instagram and Facebook so check them out check you guys out later so Caroline and Jasmine found these sticks and uh, what are you guys doing with them? Making wooden swords. They're making wooden swords so they're slowly chipping away at them. So there's a, a waterfall that I ran into while doing my morning run. Uh, I didn't know it was even here. It's right behind the uh, campground. So I just did a morning jog around the campground and around the town of Waterton. Uh, it's a beautiful town. Uh, so the town itself is in the National Park, Waterton uh, Lakes National Park, I believe it's called. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're gonna uh, wrap up our uh, stuff in the campground and then uh, we, we have to get out of the campground by 11 o'clock. They are shutting down that part of the campground to do some maintenance and to do some work on it. So we have to be out of there. Um, and then uh, we'll do some day hikes. Uh, and after that, uh, who knows? Uh, we, we're staying at a different campground tonight. Uh, we could have stayed here with full hookups, but Mao already made a reservation prior to knowing that there are uh, sites available for tonight. Uh, campground for tonight is outside the park. So it's about seven kilometers outside. Anyway, check you guys out later. So we're about to hike Bertha. Upper Bertha, Lower Bertha. Which one? Lower. Lower Bertha. Waterton Lakes National Park has 200 kilometers or 120 miles of hiking trails ranging from easy strolls to strenuous wilderness hikes. Prime hiking season runs July through mid-September. 
until late June, many of the trails are still snowbound and may be subject to avalanche hazard. So we're uh, heading back down now from Bertha, I believe, like a jasmine. Hi, Jack. Caroline's over there. We're gonna head back to the trailhead, get some lunch. Honey's over there. So as you can hear, it's really windy and the waterfall and the river are still right next to us. Jasmine has her bell. Mao made me bring up the bear spray. Um, the, hike is about, the hike is about three, a little bit over three miles. Uh, there are a lot of uh, people, even though it's a Tuesday right now, uh, the day after uh, Labor Day. It's uh, heavily, well, there aren't too many hikes or trails available to hike since a lot of them are closed right now. Uh, because of the fires, you can see there are a lot of uh, burnt trees. On the other side, you'll see that there are some uh, either, I believe that that side of the mountain wasn't affected by the fire, or the fire went around it. You, uh, some parts of it, but like this part of it looks fine. So the, the fire was about a couple years ago. Uh, it took out a good percentage of the park, as you'll see here. Uh, all the trees are still burnt down. And, but all the vegetation around is starting to recover. Uh, and we're, we're probably going to start getting some tree saplings growing here. The fire started when lightning struck the trees. <clears throat> it spread throughout the entire forest and it was stopped by the wildlife firefighters and the structural firefighters. Um, all the animals, well, most of the animals were relocated during the fire. Including so, what? Including buff bison and buffalo. So we don't see many animals here anymore. How much of the park was affected by the fire? Like probably two thirds. Wow, that's a, that's a good amount. That's why a lot of the, the trails are closed. <laughs> It's not hard to see the appeal of this place. Words or photos don't do it any justice. It's just something you have to experience firsthand and in person. We're grateful for the recommendation and that we were able to experience this wonderful place called Waterton Lakes National Park.